Hello and welcome to the first part of this five-parted series of What's New in Autodesk World 2020. My name is Johannes Bauer and I'm a designated support specialist working in the customer success organization with Autodesk. Let's take a look on what we are planning to discover in this series. The technical deep dive includes five separate chapters, where this is the first one with general enhancements. The second one is about design automation and optimization. We continue with the enhanced collaboration in Vault 2020. As Vault is a client server architecture, there have also been news in the system architecture and administration. And last but not least, we will cover enhancements which have been included in the first update 2020.1. Let's look at the agenda of the first part, general enhancements. In the general enhancements part, we will talk about enhancements in the CAD and add-ins area, language packs, and sync line enhancements. Let's get to work. The first point is CAD and add-ins. With version 2020, Inventor introduces a read-only version of Inventor. It has enhanced capabilities for viewing and is, for example, leveraging measuring capabilities from Inventor directly. You can also use it from Vault. In the Vault options, you can change the usage for the read-only mode instead of Inventor view. Inventor read-only version is usable without a license. You can leverage this by downloading the trial and install it read-only mode. Making sure the product is easy to adopt for designers as well as enjoyable while they are managing their data on a daily basis is as important as adding new capabilities. Based on the user feedback via the community online, live events at Autodesk University and other events Autodesk team hosted last year, Autodesk Wall 2020 introduces a number of usability improvements to accelerate design in a strongly way. Some of them are in the top 10 voted ideas in the Vault Idea Forum. We have listed a few examples here. In the previous release, the Go to Folder command within the Inventor Vault add-in opened a new instance of Vault Client if the Vault Client was already running. With Vault 2020, if the Vault Client is already running, this command opened the folder in the current instance of the Vault Client. In addition, Vault 2020 removes some outstanding issues reported by customers, like update part number by default during rename process, or more flexibilities to use a custom unique identifier for managed Vault objects like files and items. This can now be based on any unique rule you might have in the company. In Vault 2020, we have also added Inventor Nastron support, which we will cover later. As well as factory design numbering scheme support to enable factory design utilities to share the name or number to 2D and 3D layouts. As discussed before, with Vault 2020, we reuse an open instance to execute the go to folder command from Inventor Client or to open links sent for files, ECOs, or folder thick client hyperlinks. Here's a short video to demonstrate it. You can see I'm logged in into Vault and Open Inventor and using the go to folder from Inventor to find the file in Vault. Previous versions did open a new instance, but in Vault 2020 we are reusing the existing instance. Same is valid for the send link. I'm using the same file to send the link to via an email. Change the folder location to the root again, click the link and download the file. Opening this goes to the file location in my existing instance. You can now manage also simulation files with Vault from Inventor Nest Trend. The package is a linked object and Vault manages linked objects as default. The package itself has a compression archive of the subfolder. And using Nastra load results would decompress and open this package then. 
with the many billions of DWG and PDF files actively being used around the globe. It's not surprising that many Vault customers use PDF alongside DWG throughout their design and documentation process. AutoCAD supports attaching PDF files, drawings as an underlay so that the PDF can be associated with a given DWG. Vault 2020 includes two tweaks to better support the customer leveraging this capability. First, in the previous release of Vault, the standard check-in workflow has not supported for the associated PDF to be directly checked in alongside the DWG. The new update now supports handling of AutoCAD drawings with PDFs as attachments. Second, the latest update now also allows you to attach PDF files from Vault directly. The Attach from Vault dialog contains a PDF file option, so you can attach vaulted PDFs to AutoCAD DWGs. The second point on the agenda is the most wanted, I would say. Language packs for Vault. With other Autodesk products, we had this for a while and Vault is now aligned with that. You can now start Vault Explorer in a use of interface language of your choice. You need to install base international language and can then add language packs as needed. So some more details on here. On the client side, each language will have a separate shortcut to launch the client in the respective language. The language is UI only. The data inside, properties for example, will be in the same language of the server. Language packs can be downloaded from the accounts portal. If you uninstall the Vault client, you need to remember to remove all languages. You will get a prompt for this during the client uninstall. CAD add-ins will be in the language of the hosting CAD application language when launched. The best support for international replicated environments is to have the Autodesk Data Management Server environment in English local, EN US. For more details, you can see in the help the supported language configurations. The third point are the sync client enhancements. In Vault 2020, Think Client, we aligned the open behavior of visualizations for all browsers. The Autodesk Design Review plugin, short ADR, has been replaced by the ADR application. It will open ADR directly when you click on the open field. With that, we can now support all browsers. Depending on your browser, you can then automatically open this file type and it would open ADR directly, like you can see in the provided video. One thing which we need to take into consideration, if your browser still tries to using the ADR plugin, reset your browser settings to default, we'll keep your bookmarks, clear browsing data and cache, and able to always open file of this type, and here's how you would do that with Chrome or Firefox. With that, we conclude our first part of this series. Please have a look at the other parts as well. We talked about general enhancements in CAD and CAD add-ins, language packs, and sync client enhancements. We highly recommend also our blog where what's new as well as tips and tricks are regularly posted. And of course, our Ideas Forum, which is actively monitored by our product team. They are seeking for usability improvements to be implemented into next releases. Last but not least, I would recommend the help as well, because the new capabilities of each update are also posted there. Thank you.